Hi guys, we've got another sovereign today. This is a 1883 Georgian Dragon Sovereign. I'll start off with the obverse. This is graded as good, very fine. I'd agree with that, she's in very good condition. I've got a few more in this set which are, which are a poor condition than this, so I would say this one's about right. I've got my high tech pointer out cocktail stick. So there is a little bit of flattening above her ear and this area here, but overall she remain, you know, there's a lot of detail still left in there. So for a coin that's uh, 136 years old or so, it's it's not bad at all. And, and as you get down to the uh, truncation down here, it's, this one's class is a very thin truncation and the, the maker's marks William Y on virtually just disappear. Uh, there, there is a few little variants on this where you can get a, a wider truncation, the two W's are a lot more visible, but on this particular one, they disappear to absolutely nothing. Uh, and this is a Melbourne Mint because the M's under a neck. Apologies for the duff information in the last video. Uh, it wasn't until about 1887 uh, they started putting the, the mint marks on the reverse, not the obverse. So it's all it's worth looking under neck. But this this has come out of the Melbourne mint. And this with a thin truncation with the two W's is is normal for, for that year and type. So overall she's a good looking coin. As a flip it over to the reverse. These young heads are always made with reverse dies, so the heads and tails are upside down. There is a few error coins around where they both run the same direction, so it's worth looking. So we'll have a look at St. George here now. Really, really good condition on the uh, reverse. And these two obvious things that's missing. Uh, people who collect them, sort of more modern sovereigns would you know be able to see that, but first thing that's missing on this is the train of hair it was on the original uh, sovereign of benedetto pastrucci uh, but on this on this one for some reason they, they didn't put it on and it doesn't reappear till i think uh, a few years later so there's one without and if we just get another one and there it is there, and it does remain pretty much on nearly all the sovereigns for a while. It, it disappears and comes back, uh, and so, you know, throughout time. And I don't know the reason why, whether just people who make this fancy a change, but it, it appears and reappears. So on this one, it's definitely not there. And the second thing uh, that's missing off this coin, uh, I was looking at this a few weeks ago, and I thought it was going crazy, but the the makers mark BP. Benedetto Pastrucci is not there. Uh, at first, uh, I thought it worn away, but I've had a real good look at this, and it's not there. Uh, and that is normal for these Mel 1883 Melbournes. Uh, I think it's from about 1882 to about 1885. For some reason, uh, they didn't grace his uh, in initials on the coin there, so I, I, I don't know the reason behind that, but it's deliberately been left off. And this one is also classed as a short tail. I need to get really zoomed in here, so I'll try not to shake my hands. Let me zoom in as I can. And in the areas you can see this is there with the cocktail point is there. So as the tail bends round here in this sort of area there, it's got little two little wisps of hair and that's classed as a short tail. If there's one there, it's classed as a long tail, and if there's none there, it's classed as a medium tail. So always, always look in that area. It's dead easy. Once you know what to look for, it's dead easy. Uh, so obviously, it's not been worn away, but you can definitely see this. So this is classed as a short tail. Oh. Let me get zoomed back out. So overall, a good looking coin, good condition. Really happy with this one. And she's a fine figure woman there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Ta-da.